if it's not being interrupted by tourists wanting pictures, it's squirrels wanting nuts. Morning. Uh, it's another bright and early start here in London. Far too early to be on camera. Anyway, it's uh, well, it's not bright actually. It's dull. It's miserable, and London isn't looking at its best. But you know, good to carry on. So today, panoramics. Um, well, I suppose I'll be looking around for bright splashes of colour, anything to uh, liven up the scene. Otherwise, I think I'll be converting a lot of these images to black and white. But you know, we're going to carry on. We're going to crack on persevere we're going to make the most of this well first up this morning then is that mentioned splash of color we have the iconic telephone box along with a nice red life boy here on the um well, north bank actually he's looking to the south bank and uh london eye in the background there so um yeah that's going to be the splashy color to try and add something to the scene with uh london eye in the background very simple uh two stop right over the sky or oh, sorry um three stop soft grad over the sky um, try and hold some detail get some detail in that sky balance the two down and uh, yeah that's my first shot okay so next up this morning is the view again of the London Eye but now I'm up on the Jubilee Bridge to be honest I don't know if this one's gonna work or not um, I really wanted this one to be a nice uh, early morning light really make don't you hate motorbikes uh really making the most of this uh scene that's okay thanks but i haven't got it it's dull as ditch water i, I needed to be here early for the light if it was here but also because there's uh to make sure there's no tourists around apart from them too of course um but of course there's no tourists around because it's horrible out why would you want to be out this time in the morning so if it doesn't turn up in the video, you'll know it didn't work, but uh, just don't beat me up about it. Are these buildings around Whitehall would make a good shot really ornate looking buildings some lovely color up there just a shame they let cars park down here even if some of them are posh well when it's dull miserable slightly wet we're better to come for a splash of color than st james's park So this is a great uh, flower bed here, full of tulips, looking a wonderful display. I'm just going to catch that statue just there at the end on the left hand side of the frame and then do a wide sweep of the panoramic right across catching the whole colour of these flowers. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but uh, a useful tip when you're shooting panoramics is to take um, one extra shot before and after you've done your setup. Hello, we've got a squirrel here. Come say hello. Uh, what can you offer for photography tips then? I haven't got any nuts, squirrel. get you in focus well as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted there um, yeah if you take an extra shot with you before and after you do your set of panoramics one with your hand uh, in from the left hand side of the camera 
and then one with your hand in from the right hand side take an actual picture of your hand um, and that gives you a start and a finish point to your panoramic so like where I've been doing 10 shots uh, each location set after set after set it gives me a start and finish point so I can when I'm doing my editing it's going to be easier to find um, the sets that I want to stitch together a little tip there well, I'm still in St James's Park but I'm going to refrain from doing that view or that view because they're too easy let's see if I can get something else instead My first view this afternoon is um, this view from Blackfriars Bridge. I'm going to get down nice and low at street level, or bridge level it will be, and uh, use the railing here, or the bridge decoration, the red and white, as my panoramic. It's going to make a nice long line across the frame. And then you've got the uh, railway bridge just behind it, so it's just poking above the top there. Uh, but the key to it is just getting a, a glimpse of some pools within the, uh, the panoramics, just cover the lungs, you've got these nice lines but then the nice shape of uh, some poles just above it. I'm just going to use a, a three stop soft grad just to hold the detail in the clouds above there. Okay, well I'm on the south bank now. I'm doing the view across to um, some pools with Millennium Bridge in the shop. It's a bit of a cliche, only because I'm here, only because it's a bank holiday, only because there's so many people around. It's really warm. I'm going to do it with a long exposure using the Lee 10 stop field just to blur the water out a bit. Maybe make it a black and white because the light's a bit hazy. Well, I queued up and made it into the uh, Natural History Museum today. So why did I want to come in here? Well, I wanted to um, try out the technique and uh, push the boundaries a bit. Not necessarily for my technique, but to see how Photoshop deals with um, a panoramic produced by taking pictures handheld. So the plan was to shoot from up on the balcony up there, but it's uh, unfortunately closed off today. But I'm going to do one from the, uh, the main stairs here, overlooking the, the main hall here, the main entrance hall. So I'm going to do a, a panoramic, as I would if it was on a tripod, but obviously handheld. Uh, do my nine images across the frame, trying to keep the camera as nice as level as possible. Uh, and just see how Photoshop deals with that. Um, of course, there's the added bonus of all the people down there in the foreground, which it may, may totally confuse it. Um, or, you know, it, it may end up being a total mess down there if it can't stitch those together properly. But we'll give it a go and um, see how it turns out could end up being a nice shot. Well, I'm tired. I don't want to do any more panoramics. I'm seeing in panoramic. Cut. <laughs> 